Okay, girls. Girls, 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 girls. I'm so freaking excited about this video today. Uh, I'm always excited to film a video, especially if I'm in a really good mood. Today I'm just excited to film my video because it's on one of my favorite brands. I'm gonna be doing a kind of like buying guide recommendation on the House of Zerzhov for women. Just for us girls, I'm gonna show you guys right now my favorites, my picks, what I recommend that you buy. If you have some money aside to buy a new fragrance, please trust me and get a Zerzhov. Now, the reason that I'm doing this video now is because I do have a discount code coming up with Zerzhov uh, very, very, very soon. So on the 20th to the 24th of September, Zerzhov and I organized another discount code because you guys know if you follow me, I'm um, sorry, I have something on my nose. If you follow me, you know that we did a discount code together a few months ago and it was a big success. So many people bought a Zerzhov, which I was so excited about. And it was my like passion to open my Instagram and see you guys reposting the photo of the Zerzhov that you bought and tagging me. I was honestly, I was looking at it, feeling so happy, smiling, reposting the photos because it makes me really happy when you guys trust my recommendations and you actually genuinely love what you bought off of my recommendation because something about me is that I would never recommend you guys trash a bad fragrance. Uh, I will never take a payment just to talk about a shitty brand or nothing. Never. I've got so many offers about it. This is not a bragging point right now. I'm just telling you guys to, this is something you should look out for, you know. I've never spoken about something I don't truly love and I've turned down a lot of things because I don't really love something or a product. Zerzhov, on the other hand, I can wholeheartedly say it's one of the best niche brands in my eyes, my opinion. It's one of the best. The box, the bottle, the juice, the quality, the perfumers, the branding, everything about Zerzhov is just high quality, luxury, niche, special. I really, really, I'm sorry guys, I'm really uh, passionate right now. I'm like a proud Italian for Zerzhov. So the 20th to the 24th of this month, you can get 10% off your Zerzhov order. It's only on full size bottles like this. It's not on samples or, or anything like that. It's just on the full size bottle. And you also get a free hair mist of uh, Grand Ballo, which I have right here. I'm talking about it today in my video. You will get a bottle of the Grand Ballo hair mist with your order, which is really cool for free. Uh, actually, I will tell you guys, I kind of negotiated with Zozhov because when we were talking about the gift with purchase, they were offering um, hand sanitizer, which I was like, that's wonderful. It's, it's really cool product. I have it. I love it. But let's try to do a hair mist because hair mist, I know the girls love it. Me, I love the hair mist from Zerzhov. I love them. I love the scent. I love the quality. I was like, let's do a hair mist. They were like, okay, we can put in the hair mist instead. I was like, yes. So I really, uh, I wanted to do this code for a long time because since our last one was such a big success, I was telling them, let's do another one because so many people missed out on their order, missed out on the code. I was like, let's do another one. And they told me they had to wait for me to do the code till September. So we're finally in September. We're finally doing the code. I will link all of the information about the code down below. It's just Demi10 for 10% off. Uh, yeah, I will list everything down below. Let's get on with the video. It's going to be a long one. You guys can already tell I'm being super rambly and excited and overly excited about this video. Let's get into it. I think I'm going to start with my Casamaratis. I think that's a good place to start because I have four in this video. So let's take it away with the red bottle. You guys know I already love this one so much. It is Bouquet Idylle. I remember wearing this on a really special date night that Pierre and I had at a beautiful restaurant in Dubai. Uh, it's one of my favorites. If you go to Dubai, go to Scalini. It's an Italian restaurant at the Four Seasons and it is just it's so freaking good. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Dubai and we went there one night. We had an incredible time and I was wearing Bouquet Dio and I just have a good memory about that night. It's vanilla, it's cinnamon, it's sweet but not too sweet. It's a little woody. This is a very, very addictive scent. I recommend it for date night, for a night out, for the fall and winter. It is just perfection. It's really still one of my favorites from Zerzhov. Really, it's still one of my favorites. And it's very special. I just love it so much. If you're into the same fragrances as me, vanilla, cinnamon, tonka bean, woody scents, you're going to love this one. It is just fantastic. Longevity and projection on my skin is wonderful. It doesn't project too much, but it does last on your skin. For me, it lasts around seven to eight hours. 
around eight hours on my skin and I just love it so much. So that is Bouquet Idil from Zerzhov. 100% recommend this one. It is top. And guys, you know, another thing is that I actually have more Zerzhovs in my collection for women, but I didn't want to put them in the video because they're not my favorites. So I just put my favorites here today, which there is still a lot. Okay, so next up, we're going to talk about Grand Ballo which is the hair mist that you would get for free with your order. So it's a really, really great fragrance. It's great to have it as a hair mist. Now, Grand Ballo for me is probably the most simple in this list. It's a very simple scent to me because it's fruity, a little fresh, sweet, very girly, a little floral. And I have to be honest, the opening really smells similar to Juicy Couture. The original Juicy Couture, it smells similar. So I do have to say that if you like that fragrance, you're definitely going to love this one. But do I think it's like the best of the best from Zerzhov? No. Do I think it's still fantastic? Yes. Sometimes it's exactly how I want to smell. I want to smell girly, fruity, fresh, very feminine. This is hands down the most feminine in this list. And it is really, really good. It smells like the luxury niche version of like a juicy couture type of scent. Fantastic, love it. This one would go off with the guys, I am sure about it. And it's fantastic. So Grand Ballo from Zerzhov. If that's your type of scent, then you're definitely gonna love this one. Next up, we have the best gourmand, period. Wow, guys, this is honestly a crazy, crazy gourmand scent. It is Italica. I have talked about this one before, and for me, it's one of the best gourmands ever. It is really a true, through and through gourmand. There is no getting away from it. This fragrance is crazy. It's sweet. It smells like a sweet powdery almond cake, a baked almond cake with some icing sugar on top. It's exactly how it smells. It's very warm, very, very, very sweet with lots of toffee in there. Warm, creamy, sweet almond cake. That's all I can say about it. If you're into gourmands, but like really, really into gourmands, you need to pick this one up because it's absolutely fantastic. It's insane how long this fragrance lasts on my skin. All day, projection is beast mode. So if that's what you're into, then you need to check this one out. It's crazy. And for me, very unique gourmand, absolutely worth it. I also love Lira from this line. I don't own it here in Dubai, but that's also a great recommendation if you don't own Lira already. It's also really, really, really good. So Italica, 100% recommend, demi approved, yes. Oh guys, oh la la guys, oh la 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 la. You're not ready for this one. <laughs> You're not ready. I discovered a new favorite from the Casamirati that I didn't really look at before. I'm not really sure why. I am just blown away by this scent. Truly magical fragrance. It is Dama Bianca. Now, this fragrance, like I said, I didn't really look at it at the beginning. I'm not sure why. I cannot believe how incredible this fragrance is. I have been wearing this non-stop, non-stop. It is just beautiful. This for me is just perfection for an everyday signature scent. This is the fragrance right here, Dama Bianca. How do I explain this fragrance? It is just so beautiful, that's it. It's musky, it's a little bit powdery, it's fresh but not too fresh, it's sweet but not too sweet. It's very soft, musky, a little powdery, sweet, addictive, it has an addictiveness to it from some amberette, some vanilla. But the overall scent that you get is this beautiful, clean, musky, sweet, slightly powdery scent. It is really a wow fragrance. And I would have to say this potentially could be a bride fragrance. Potentially, if this is what you're into, the scent is so stunning that I really think that it could be a bridal scent. Me, this is this would be an option for me personally. This is a beautiful signature scent for a woman as well. It is just gorgeous, elegant, feminine, clean, sweet, and musky and soft at the same time. Very sensual fragrance and I just think it is perfection. Guys, you really have to try this one. I was shocked, actually, I was shocked when I smelled it. Dama Bianca, it's beautiful. 10 out of 10, an old favorite of mine, Ascento Overdose. <sighs> Again, this is just gorgeous. I cannot say it enough. 
a Sento overdose. I took this one with me on my travels recently because I love to wear this one for meetings day to day when I'm doing something within the day. I'm not just at home or doing nothing running errands. I love to wear this one when I'm going to lunch. If I have a meeting, I want to smell really beautiful, refined, classy. I wear a Sento overdose. It's a beautiful white floral, very, very unique, very, very strong. Don't get me wrong. This is a strong white floral and very green green white flowers a little bit sweet it has a bit of a fruitiness but you don't really know where it's coming from the jasmine is very strong in the scent very 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 strong jasmine it's very green it has a sweetness it has a bit of a soapiness to it as well in a way and it is just beautiful guys i get so many compliments when i wear a scento overdose and i just think it is a fantastic scent again this could be a potential bridal scent in my eyes i do see this one being a beautiful bride scent longevity and projection on a scento overdose for me is beast mode all day long and you do have a really good projection it's not like buckra rouge but it does project really well on your skin and it's just amazing a scento overdose this one is for the people who really love their white flowers it's top. Next up, I'm gonna talk about this fragrance right here. This is Golden Dollar. Now this is not strictly a feminine scent. It could be worn on a man as well, because for me, it's very unisex. It is a gourmand, but in the best way possible. It's exactly how I like my gourmands, to be honest. Now, Golden Dollar is a coffee fragrance, and actually, I will be honest right now, it does smell kind of similar to Minuit de Mi, which is my fragrance. Still available, by the way. So yeah, for me, it does pull a similarity with my fragrance, but my fragrance is more sweet and uh, sweet, creamy and less coffee in the fragrance. Golden Dollar definitely has quite a lot of coffee, very much a spicy scent in the opening. Coffee, it's kind of like a roasted coffee scent without being too sweet. There is a sweetness, but it's not too much. It's a fabulous, fabulous fragrance. It really reminds me of the Middle East because it has a spiciness, a dry, slightly smoky coffee scent, like a roasted coffee scent. And it's not too sweet. This one is delicious. If you're into gourmands without being too sweet, you really need to try this one. And if you've been looking for a really realistic coffee fragrance, this is the one for you. Next up we have Ouverture. You guys know how I feel about this one. Oh, wow. <sighs> Maldives for me. This is the Maldives for me because I was wearing it non-stop in the Maldives and it reminds me exactly of that time now. I feel like I have my... I have a place that I've been to associated with a fragrance for a lot of places. Santorini, it's the Sol de Janeiro body spray. Ouverture, it's the Maldives. Ujun, it's Bali, which I'm really happy because I love to smell something and be brought back to a time or a period in your life. And Ouverture, it's the Maldives, which we had a great time there. And it is so good. It's a very, very unique scent. For me, it smells tropical, yet oriental. Like it's a tropical, warm scent. It has this milkiness, this buttery creaminess to it. Imagine the the flesh of a coconut. It almost reminds me of the way that that tastes in your mouth. It's so good. It's fruity, but like a very warm, fruity scent. Milky, creamy, sweet, tropical, almost like a pina colada sort of thing. It's just divine. This one is so unique, so beautiful. I love it. It's very addictive and very, very, very special. So Ouverture by Zerjoff, you guys already know how much I love this one. It's my favorite from this line of Zerjoff. I know everybody loves Herba Pura from this line. Me, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big fan of Herba Pura because I think it's very basic. And I prefer something like Ouverture because it's more special and unique and, and delicious. Never did I smell something so reminiscent to my childhood, ever. This is Symphonium, which was just re-released. And my oh my, is it crazy how realistic this smells. I don't know if you guys ever ate this when you were younger, but I used to have this thing called Terry's Chocolate Orange. And it was like an orange of a, it was a chocolate, but it was in the shape of an orange. And you would like take out a piece, like a segment of the chocolate and the taste of that is in this bottle. It's in this bottle, the way that this smells. Ch 
chocolate and orange. It is crazy how realistic this smells. Dusty, chocolate, the orange, they balanced it so perfectly. I don't understand because I just don't understand how you can encapture the scent so perfectly, but they did. It's a little bit powdery, very sweet, very warm, kind of citrusy from the orange, but you have that dusty cacao vibe from the chocolate. Wow, it's really, really incredible, guys. If you like orange chocolate, you, you have to try this one. I wore it the other day to the mall. It lasted forever on my skin. Forever on my skin, this fragrance lasted. Lasts and projects as well. Incredible. Symphonium from Zajov, really a special fragrance, very unique. Uh, and if you like gourmands, you like orange and chocolate together, you have to try this one because it's really, really incredible. Let's talk about my baby quickly. We have Ivory Roots. You guys know how I feel about Ivory Roots. I just... I cannot... I don't have the words for this fragrance. It's in my forever fragrances because for me, I need to have this forever. The other day when I was explaining it, I was explaining this fragrance as a vanilla because that's how it smells to my nose. It smells like a spiced, creamy, sandalwoody vanilla. Very spicy though. Like this oriental spicy fragrance with this smooth, creamy vanilla running through the middle. A little bit dusty as well. But the thing with this fragrance is that it doesn't contain any vanilla. Apparently so. And for me, it's really how the fragrance smells to me. A spicy woody, creamy, smooth vanilla. It's just wow, wow, wow. A very, very incredible scent here. For me, it's like a masterpiece fragrance, ivory root, really it is. The way that I like to wear it is when I'm going out. I cannot disrespect this fragrance and wear it just running errands or going to the grocery store. For me, it's a night out, you're dressed up, you're going somewhere nice for dinner, you have a special event or a really important meeting or something, then I'm gonna wear Ivory Root because for me, it's such a elegant, beautiful, luxurious scent that I cannot disrespect it by wearing it in the wrong situation. So me, Ivory Roots, my love for it is very deep. And yeah, longevity and projection, we don't need to talk about it because you guys already know this one lasts forever and ever. We have three more to go. This one you have not heard me talk about and I'm so happy to have it. Actually, yes, you did hear me talk about this fragrance in my previous Zerjo video, but I didn't have a bottle and now I have a bottle and I'm so happy about it. Girls, you're going to love this fragrance. I really cannot imagine somebody not liking this scent because it's just beautiful. This fragrance is called L and yeah, L. This fragrance is so hard to describe how it smells but it is so beautiful. It has some orange blossom, it has some vanilla, some benzoin, some amber, some citrus, but it is so well balanced and so well blended that you don't really pick up anything particular. You don't really pick up the orange blossom super strong. It smells like a very, very feminine, very feminine fragrance. It's sweet, but not too much. Very, very, very feminine. It has a little bit of this floral nuance with mixed with some like vanilla ambery touch. Very soft, very girly. It almost smells like there could be some pear or something in here. And it's just beautiful. The dry down is a little more like musky and soft, very feminine still. But I will say with this one, the longevity is not as good as the other ones that I've previously mentioned. So do keep that in mind. Although I know you girls are going to love this one, really. It's a beautiful scent. And I just love it. L from Zerjo. Okay, so next up we have Far. Now this fragrance, oh, I nearly put it in my nose. This is so strange to me because it smells like a rose oud scent. For me, it smells like a rose and oud that's very dry and Middle Eastern. The crazy thing is that it doesn't contain rose or oud, I don't think. Maybe it contains oud, but there is no rose in here. Whereas me, I really smell rose. There is some geranium, some ambergris, but I'm telling you, if I can explain how it smells, it smells like the most expensive woman. She has a collection of like 50 exotic Birkins and she walks out of the house and she smells like far. It's a dry rose oud, a little aromatic, like I said, a little bit fresh as well, but it's not too overwhelming. That's what I like about this fragrance. And I only wear it when I want to smell like a boss bitch. Like I told you guys, whenever I wear far, 
I know I smell like a boss bitch. That's it. I know I smell like it and I love sometimes to smell like this. And for me, it's just so beautiful, so elegant, so feminine, so luxurious. It's really special. But you really do have to appreciate your rose and oud type of fragrances because that's how it smells exactly to me. So yeah, far. Such a good scent. It is time to talk about my new baby, La Capitale. I saved it for last. I love her. I love her, I love her, I love her, I love her, I love her. I love it. You need to buy this. Finished. You have to get this one, guys. It's incredible. If you don't have this in your collection, I would feel bad for you. It's absolutely amazing. It is a fruity scent. It has some caramel. It has some leather. It has some saffron. I was telling you guys in my previous video, think of like an oriental type of fragrance underneath with some leather, some saffron, a little bit of oud, but then a really likable, fruity, sweet, gourmand type of scent on the top. And it's perfectly balanced. It is just amazing. I get so many compliments whenever I wear this scent and I know you're thinking you just got it. How do you know? I've been wearing it almost every single day and every time I wear it, I get a compliment with this one. La Capitale. Fruity, a little sweet, like the caramel mixed with some strawberry. You get a little bit of this kind of spicy touch to it from some saffron, like a sp slightly, slightly, very ever so slightly. You get some leather in there to give it a bit of like this animalic feeling. It is just sexy, loud, powerful, strong, addictive. I recommend this one for a night out, for a date night. If you're going to the mall, wear it whenever you want, but it is just, you need to have it. <laughs> La Capitale from Zerzhov, guys. My new favorite, my new forever fragrance. I just, I cannot say enough good things. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My camera is about to die, so I have to wrap it up really, really, really fast. Remember that my code is from the 20th to the 24th of this month. Uh, use it, definitely use it for a 10% off your Zerzhov order and you get a free hair mist of Gran Balo, which smells delicious. So don't forget Demi 10 from the 20th to the 24th if you wanted to get a Zerzhov and I really guys, you know how much I love it. I would never promote a something I don't believe in and I love Zerzhov so much. You need to try one, you need to pick something up. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon guys. Bye.